In this video, we're going to write a Python program to compute the area of a circle. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter a radius using the input function. Now the input function is going to return a string that the user enters. We want to use the number they enter in a mathematical expression. So we'll convert it to a float by using float like this. And we'll assign this value to a variable called radius. The expression to compute the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we could say area is equal to pi times radius to the power of two. So this here is the power operator. And we're going to take radius and get the power of two of radius. Then we're going to multiply the result of this by pi. But we haven't actually defined pi. We could define it ourselves. We could say pi is equal to 3.14. Or we could import it from the Python math module. And that's really what we should do. So we're going to say from math import pi. This will give us the pi constant from the math Python module. Finally, we could output the area. So down here, we'll say print area colon. And we're going to concatenate the string representation of the area. So we'll save this and then run our Python program. We'll say Python d.py. And we can enter in a radius of 4. And we'll get back the correct area result here. Now, this area result has many decimal digits of accuracy. We might not need that many decimal digits of accuracy. We could use the round function to reduce the decimal digits in our result. So for example, we could say round, and we'll pass the result of this expression as the first argument, and then we'll pass in 4 as the second argument. And now our area will be rounded down to 4 decimal digits of accuracy. So we can save this and run our program again. And now if we enter a radius of 4, we get back an area rounded to 4 decimal digits of accuracy. We could also put this computation in a function. That would be helpful if we needed to compute the area of a circle at multiple points in our source code, because rather than reproducing this expression again and again, where we could make a mistake, we could just call the same circle area function. So we could say def, and we'll say circ underscore area for circle area. The function will accept a single argument. We'll call the parameter r. We're going to return the result of this expression. We're going to replace radius with the parameter name r, though. And then down here, we could just call the function. So we'll say circ area, and we'll pass it the value of radius. So we can save this and run our program. And if we enter a radius of 4, we'll get back the correct result again. So this is how we can compute the area of a circle using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.